20 second rule. Depends on what happens. See, this is the last video of the night. At most, I'll do three. I'm trying to keep it to that as much as I'm getting in the game because I don't want to upload a billion parts at once. Oh, oh, 20 seconds. So, yeah. I got it talking. It's all good. So, hello, everybody. Let's get that out of the way. And let's load it up and start. So, last time, we actually came to a deduction. But, no, I'm not clicking. <laughs> don't want to even want to click it to see what the options are. Because I just don't think that's it. I mean, it could be. But, we came to that way too quickly. What else can I tell you? I think this case is fairly obvious, don't you, Mr. Holmes? What? What? Do I... What? Okay, now I'm confused. Let me check some things out. See, I was thinking that that was the whole case. Um... I need to finish here first. A map of London and its surroundings. Could be you. But I think this is just like um, in the novels and this in this TV series and such. She would have people come to him throughout bigger cases or between bigger cases, and he would solve their dilemma really quickly. And I think that's what this is. But. Okay, so let's check. I want to check all the different conclusions. That doesn't even come up with anything. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not just the same thing. So I wonder if I, this can't be the whole case. I'm pretty sure that's correct. That can't change, that can't change. But that doesn't make sense to me either. I can understand him finding out and then making the... Let me see if I can change this a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's correct. I'm pretty sure that's correct. This is the only other... Okay, so that completely screws it. That can't be the whole case, though, can it? Well, according to the father's letter and... Wait a minute. It could be either way. I'm thinking maybe he's a crook now, but as far as I know, he never got any kind of money from her. So, if he never got any kind of money from her, why would he leave until he got the money?
No, I'm thinking. Wait a minute. So. Mm, I'm thinking here. The father signed his name. I can see this working both ways. I can see it as Angel faked the signature and he didn't want to put his signature on the other one because they would connect to. And I can see it with the father doing the same thing. Okay, let's read this one again. So I'm still thinking at this point that the fault. I don't. It, it, how? Now I'm confused because how could she, how could they be the same person if she's met him? Okay, so now that I think about it some more, but the. Th Okay, the thing I think I have with the father is that if they were the same person, unless he's a master of disguise, it'd be really awkward for him to do it. And the crook thing is that he um, he hasn't got any money yet. I think I'm going to go with What was the other? There was like one more conclusion. Let me see if we can find that. There was one more conclusion that I found that I want to try and figure out. No, I definitely don't think that's it. Confuses me. T 
tune out and confuse it again. Because this actually matches up if the, the stepfather wasn't guilty, then Mary and her stepfather trusted one another. Mary was told to remain as home as her stepfather believed it would be safe for her, or better for her. That should still lead to. What's time to do this? That's just Hosmer left. No, I don't think that's it. That's my least likely. There are actually three conclusions here. One typer has to be correct. Thing here, so that already screws that up. If I do that, if I change, okay, that doesn't come to a thing. So let me see here. Let me think here. This is taking a while, but I'm trying to think. The way the clues work together kind of... Mary's stepfather was unaware of her relationship with Hosmer Angel. Hosmer Angel was the resentient and shy man who did not want to cause trouble for Mary. So, hmm... Just with the, I can see both the way him being shy and him being um, prophet. The prophet thing is what screws me on the Hosmer Angel theory. Hmm. Okay, I know it's taking a while, but I want to make sure I can't figure anything else out. What else can I tell you? I think this case is fairly obvious, don't you, Mr. Holmes? Thanks to Wild, my analysis table has been completely destroyed.
I can see it both ways, honestly. There's so many clues pointing to both ways, and that's what confuses me. The fact that he's trying to keep her at home could say that he wanted the money. And we have to choose profit to really get to any conclusion, so that's going to be set no matter what. But the and Hosmer wrote and said that it would be better for us not to see each other until father had gone. After that, he stopped writing, even though the father was gone in a week. I think he's a crook. So Miss Mary Sutherland's stepfather wished for her to stay loyally bound to Mr. Hosmer Angel, so keeping Mary and her mother money close to home. The law cannot touch Mr. Windebank, but Mary should at least know the truth. Let's back out of that and let's change. God, this is so good to move from. This is so confusing to me. So, I'm going to take each conclusion. Mary's stepfather, Mr. Windebank, adopted a disguise and played the role of Ms. Hoster, Mr. Hosmer Angel to keep his stepfather and her money close to home. Mr. Hosmer Angel is a crook who was hired by Mr. Windebank to keep his stepdaughter and her money close to home. Mr. Angel did what was acquired and then disappeared. So that would mean that This makes much more sense than us in the conclusions. You should try to let Mr. Hosmer Angel vanish from your memory, as he has done from your life. Then you don't think I'll see him again? I fear not. Then what has happened to him? Your stepfather married your mother for her money, and also enjoyed the use of your income. But with your personal advantages, it was clear that you would not remain single for long, even with him keeping you at home. He found a crook by the name of Mr. Hosmer Angel. He was paid to make you fall in love and promise your devotion, whereupon he would disappear. Oh, Mr. Holmes. No, I, I, I can't believe it. But we were engaged. Oh, it's horrible to think about. But thank you for all you have done, Mr. Holmes. Holmes? You could have been more diplomatic. <laughs> Honestly, in the case you're not, I got a trophy. I need to check to see what that is. Maybe that'll... 
I hope that's not the end of the case. That's so stupid if it is. So fucking stupid. That it's one little thing. Better be more than five cases if that's true. Okay, good. Oh, we'll have all of a sudden three people have jumped in. Hey, everybody. So I had to take that trophy. I just got to see what it is. What's... Mr. Holmes, is everything all right? Oh, my God. Go back to your flat and stay there with Kate. Okay, so let me, it's probably going to go to just audio for a minute. I want to check out that, um, that trophy I just got and see what it is. Trophies, Chuck Holmes, Devil's Daughter. Let's see where to go. Okay, I'm trying to think of what the name of it was here. Yes, solve Mary Sutherland's case. So, no, I can't say that no matter what I did, I get that, but I think I was right. Calm down, Toby. Now, let's see what this contains. It's ticking. Then get rid of it. Get rid of it. Okay, I just blew myself up. It's ticking. Okay, how do I get rid of it? Oh, okay, you say I'm in a move away. How do I... Okay, select action. I see wires inside. They could be connected to the cover. So, uh, let's see here. Don't pull it out! A fancy ticking homemade gift from the secret admirer. I have two minutes to defuse it. Oh shit, shit, shit. How do I defuse it? A source of electricity for the detonation. A package with explosive material. There are wires going in and out. It's useless to predict how they might be tangled up inside. Aha! This solenoid protects the bomb from being easily diffused. If it loses its power supply, it will close contact between the secondary chain wires and the bomb will explode. Okay, so I don't want to cut the electricity in that case. A package with explosive material. There are wires going in and out. It's useless. There are wires attached to the bell and hammer. When the alarm triggers, the bomb will explode. Okay, so do I... How do I... How do I... Shit! There are wires... Can I, how do I cut the wire? Uh -huh. If it loses its power, the How do I? Ha! Uh -huh. This solid. If it loses a package with it. How do I? Okay, I can't see the wires that are coming to. It's, it looks like it's going to... Boom! Oh, damn it. Alright, so I have to connect, disconnect it from the clock, I think. A fancy ticking homemade gift from the secret... There are wires attached to the bell and hammer when the alarm... To the bell and hammer, so if I can see how the wire wires work... There are wires attached to the bell and ha- 
where all of the wires go to. That goes. Okay, I can't. Con I'm pretty sure that's not it because that connects to the thing that it said it loses the power supply. Damn it! I thought that was it. Okay. So I'm cut most on the left. A source of electricity. A source of electric. A package with explosive material. There are wires going in. There are wires attached to the bell and ham. Aha! This solenoid protects the bomb from being. If it loses. So I don't want to lose this power supply. Let's, let's see what this does. No, that's not it either. It's not getting this puzzle right now. A fancy. T okay, so let's. Uh, got most of the clues. Let's see what this does. And that's all to. What's this red wire? I can't see what that really goes to. That leads to go to the back of it. Anything that loses is going to blow up, I'm sure. So let's. Whew. Okay. That cut off a lot of this power. I'm just don't. I think it's about to blow. No, I still have a minute left. So now that that's disconnected, am I able to do this? Okay, there's two different wires here. That goes to the bomb itself, and that goes behind it. Okay, so that cut most of the power. What does that go? That goes to that. And then I think this one, maybe. I also have to cut shit and hope it doesn't blow up. I think I got to the last second. Yep. <laughs> what happened? Just a small bomb. Somebody wants to kill me? What for? I don't believe that you were the target. Who then? Mr. Holmes, are you alright? I saw the bloke. I tried to catch him, but he escaped. Can you describe the man? Uh, he was thin, about 5'5", five five with black hair and a hair lip. Thanks for the advice, man. Appreciate it. I, I kind of see how it works now, but it was kind of weird, too. Wiggins, tell us everything you saw. The fellow was watching your place, so I thought maybe he's a client. But then he took something out of his jacket and threw it, smashing your window. I shouted at him and he took off. I grabbed him by the sleeve, but he wriggled out of his jacket and left it. I'm sorry I didn't catch him, Mr. Holmes. You did very well, Wiggins. Now, let's take a look at that jacket. Here it is. Good job, Wiggins. Here's a penny. Oh, thanks, Mr. Holmes. Okay, so um, it's getting kind of late. I think I'm going to end it for now and pick back up tomorrow, but I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to. I should be back on tomorrow doing the rest of this case. Um, so thank you for all the advice, and thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later. It is confusing. I, I kind of see how it works, but it's like, whatever. All right. I'm not sure I'm not on air. That's weird. Okay, so I, I see how it is. Alright, so um, thank you again, and I'll be back on tomorrow, so catch me then.